what's up guys so today's video i'm going to be looking at the fool uh it is card zero in uh, the tarot deck um and i know i'm running behind on videos but this is obviously the uh the april fools uh video um it just works out perfectly that it's literally the first card in the deck. So I've got a little bit up here, and I'm going to read you from here. Uh, if you pull the card, what it means. Um, but we've got here, you know, you know what, let's go into the full, let's go into the full page, rather than that at all. Uh, we don't care about its iconography or its history. So the Fool or the Jester in this deck, it is called, turn it around the right way so you can see, it is called the Fool, uh, is one of uh, 78 cards in the tarot deck, uh, in occult tarot it's one of the 22 major arcana, which is what my deck is, um, there are 22 cards, this one as I said being number 0, and then the last one which is the World. I believe. Quickly double check that. God, I'm good. Um, being numbered as 21. So 0 to 21, making actually 22 cards. Um, so, yeah, so in, in, in Occult Tarot, it's numbered as number 0 and it's one of the 22 major arcana. In Dex Desired for playing traditional tarot card games, uh, because they can be used for things other than, other than divining the future. It's typically unnumbered and is not one of the 21 trump cards and is did service a unique purpose by itself. The Wikipedia page does actually give in its See Also page uh, a link to uh, the wild card in, in card games as well as the joker in, in regular playing cards. Uh, so he is akin to that. Um, very, very unique. Um, now, where did it? Uh, I had a bit, and it was. Yeah. I, I don't know where it's gone. Anyway. So the fool is usually depicted as a beggar or a vagabond. Uh, he wears ragged clothes and stockings without shoes and carries a stick on his back. This one has a rose in its hand and is evidently not a vagabond uh, or a beggar. Um, the fool represents new beginnings, having faith in the future, being inexperienced, not knowing what to expect, having beginner's luck, improv improvisation. Ugh, that did not come out the way I wanted it to the first time. Um, and believing in the universe. Um, its keywords are, let's see if this one has any beginning, spontaneity, originality, innocence, and leap of faith, and in my book, free spirit, purity, and beginnings. So that checks out. Uh, and the reversed card, so if you were to get it, this way. Um, naivety, poor judgment, folly, lack of direction, stupidity, and chaos. And I've got foolishness, carelessness, and naive. So, yep, it's still, I mean, obviously it's going to check out, uh, unless this brand cannot be trusted, and this brand seems to be very trusting. Like, I, I, I mean, it's my only deck of cards, but it's, uh, it's served me pretty well so far. Uh, it also is recognised as being a card that falls under the element of air, which is kind of cool, um, considering that my star sign is also an air sign. Um, its ruling planet is uh, Uranus, which 
is in Roman mythology is the um, equivalent to Kronos. Um, so I would have to I would have to double check on that. I think I did talk about Uranus though in my planets uh, video in astrology, which obviously this. Um, ties into, for instance, uh, where are we? By the time we get to number four, uh, so the fifth cardian, um, we actually start getting um, star signs as well. So, yeah, um, which checks out because when you get year nine planets. And, and in planets, I'm also including the sun and the moon. Uh, so seven planets, sun and the moon, and then your 12 star signs gives you 21. Um, and then its following card is the magician, but I will be doing a completely separate video on that. Gonna start doing this as a bit of a series, uh, but it just seemed like too good of an opportunity to pass up. All right, so done with that, we're now reading. Um, so, if you were to get it upright in your reading, and actually, this is probably a good chance to, uh, to explain how these work in case you don't know. Uh, so when you are pulling cards, say you do a, a, a three, I'm literally just going to pick the two top ones and I'm just going to have them be facing away from me. So if, they, if this was how you drew your cards, right, and this edge is facing you like that, then that would be considered upright. However, if you were to receive it like this, it is upside down. Now you can either choose to simply read the card as I did there, um, that it just represents new beginnings, having faith in the future, etc. Or you can actually do uh, in-depth readings and it's usually best to do an in-depth reading so you're not giving yourself false hope and luckily I, when I got my cards I got this little book that actually gives me descriptions so we've got the upright here and the reversed here uh, so for upright this one reads uh, how exciting the fool is a card of pure spontaneous energy filled with curiosity and enthusiasm for the next adventure you're ready to step forward into a new journey where the sky's the limit. You have boundless potential where you can pour your exuberance into fresh creative endeavors. Living in the moment, you're learning to let go of expectations and go with, and to go with the flow. You are ready to venture into unknown territories and pioneer your free spirit, uh, your free spirit self, rather, uh, into this new phase of your life. With a carefree attitude, it's a time to really discover yourself in new ways and explore your options. Trust your gut, listen to your heart, and believe in yourself. Once you let go, the universe will support you in this exciting, uh, on this, sorry, on this exciting beginning of your journey. Uh, you only live once. And then, for a reversed reading, current state of mind, it's all about you. Naive thinking and careless actions lead you to constantly live in the moment with no plans for the future. Your actions can be seen as selfish, feeding your ego and ignoring the consequences of how you are affecting those around you. In short, you are acting a fool. Check your ego and ask yourself if your actions are based off of wholeness and confidence or uncertainty and insecurity. Ground yourself and find your centre within. You could be walking into a vulnerable situation where you may be taken advantage of. Don't be naive and do your research. Be prepared for whatever you're about to walk into, whether it's an interview, meeting, or date. Uh, risks might gratify you for the moment, but they could cost you in the long run. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for this video. Um, I know I'm a bit late to the party, but I hope you all had a good uh, April Fool's Day. Uh, I imagine in this current social condition, uh, there was a lot of pranks on uh, parents to 
uh, have been had by the children of the world. Um, but yeah, um, either that or like on 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 your partner or, or um, whoever it is you're living with, whether your siblings or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, I will leave a link for where you can actually get uh, the Mystic Mondays tarot down below. I'll leave a link for them so you can go and check them out. Like I said, it's my first deck, but I uh, have not been steered wrong by it yet. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'll leave that link down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to see more videos from me and be notified when I upload new ones. Uh, and until next time, guys, keep it squared on.